Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzaluzi and I'm here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you how to retouch a portrait using frequency and separation technique. And I'll show you how to remove blemishes too. Don't worry, it's not that complicated, we will follow some tricks to make it more easy. So let's get started. Okay, uh, look at this picture. At first, we want to remove the blemishes and for this, I'm gonna use the pass tool. I'm not using the healing uh, brush tool or spot healing brush tool because you need to select the every blemishes. You need to uh, pick sample and then paint on the every blemishes if you are using the healing brush tool. And that is time consuming and, and that is not easy. So I'm using the pass tool this time. Okay, at first uh, make a copy of the background layer by pressing Command and J or Ctrl and J. And then uh, select your blemishes and the basic rules of pass tool you have to select the blemishes and then click and drag and release it to a normal skin area look at this it's gone this was the before and this is after but it's just for one blemish but we want to uh, apply the same kind of effect on multiple blemishes for this just select and now press and hold shift and now you can see there is a plus icon that means now you can select multiple area so just select like this this like this and now just drag and release press ctrl and d to deselect and look at this this was the before and this is after so repeat this So look at this, this was the before and this is after, removing all the blemishes using the pass tool. So now we want to apply uh, the uh, frequency and separation technique, okay. So for this just uh, make a copy of the layer 1 by pressing Command and J or Ctrl and J and rename this layer 1 to low and layer 1 copy to uh, high okay let's hide the high layer and select the low layer okay in the low layer we will preserve only the colors just only the colors okay and in the high layer we will preserve only the texture okay so select the low layer and then go to the filter then blur then select the gaussian blur okay and now just gradually increase it and I think around 20 to 25 percent is looking uh, good to me okay now look at this don't worry it is looking now blurry but in the low layer we will preserve only the colors so it doesn't matter if it's blurry or something and now active the high layer okay then go to the image and select the apply image and in the layer option select the low channel rgb that's fine and in the blending mode select subtract opacity 100 percent scale 2 and offset 1 to 8 okay now press ok and change the blending mode to linear light right now it's nothing happening right so now in the high layer 
we have preserved the text here okay don't worry about the high layer right now just hide it and come back to the low layer and now we want to blend the color blend the color of the skin okay so for this press b or select here brush tool oops mixer brush tool and now click on this option and select your clean brush uh, make sure the brush is soft and active this option weight 9% load 75% mix 90% flow 100% that's fine okay now just paint on your skin and blend the color with each other take your time and do it and this is very important if you want a good result then play the color very very accurately take your time and just paint Okay, uh, this is what we got after mixing the color or blending the color. Now, just active the high layer. And look at this. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. You can do better than this actually if you give more time on the low layer uh, on mixing the color or blending the color. It depends on the uh, practice and giving more time and do it more accurately. Look at this again. This was the before and this is after. It's really looking good. So this is it and I hope you love this technique. If you did, hit the like button, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe.